Hello, welcome back to my channel, Fee from Venus. I'm YTV. If you're new, hi, nice to meet you. And if you're not new, hi, nice to see you again. Um, actually, I filmed this video last night, but I was too sleepy. So I kept on saying the same things over and over again, and I missed the point. So I was like, okay, I need to film it again. So this is my second time filming this video. And how is my audio here? I just got a new microphone, and hopefully this microphone doesn't pick up the sound of my roommate screaming in the living room. Hopefully. And um, so yeah, today in my video, I'm going to talk about the lessons that I've learned in my 22 years. And this is my part one video about this, and I'm gonna make part two on this. So make sure you subscribe my channel and turn on the notification and do whatever you wanna do. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, this is the most important life lesson that I've learned not too long ago that having faith in a religion is important. Um, according to a study, people who are religious have higher self-esteem and better psychological adjustment than people who are not. I used to be an atheist, so whenever I had hard times, um, I didn't know how to set my mind at ease. I used to think a lot of negative things. I believe that all the religions show us how to find inner peace in yourself. Um, I'm a Buddhist, so I'm gonna focus on Buddhism here. So many Buddhists uh, misunderstand the main point of Buddhism. They think paying homage to Buddha is the most important thing. Some people say prayers without even understanding them, and some people go to a famous pagoda believing that their wishes will come true. For me, I pay homage to Buddha because I respect him and thank him for the enlightened path that he had shown us. He's not a god. Um, he can't fulfill your wishes, only we can but his teachings can help us in somehow to achieve it. To me, Buddha is a mentor, nothing more, nothing less. Don't get mad at me on this. Um, so I think what's most important about a religion is to fully understand and to follow it. So my point here is having faith in something is better than nothing so that you won't feel helpless in your hard times, right? Um, at least we have guidelines and inspirations to be a, a positive person. Everything happens for a reason. I mentioned it because I used to be that person who had a lot of negative thoughts in my mind. Whenever something bad happened to me, I was like, why me? Why do always bad things happen to me? And that had affected my self-esteem a lot. So once I set my mind that everything happens for a reason, everything happens for a reason, I try to look at things in a less negative way. So now when something bad happened to me, I'm like, okay, this is happening to me because I'm gonna get something better. And that helps me feel a lot better. So it's all about thinking, it's not a miracle. It's just the thinking in your mind. People change so that you can learn to let go. Things go wrong so that you can learn to appreciate them when they're right. You believe in lies so you eventually learn to trust no one but yourself. So the valuable lesson behind this quote is to make us stronger and to create positive energy. So if you think of positive things, positive things will attract you. What you think impacts on what you attract and what you attract impacts on what you become. Law of attraction. I always say it but then I always think of negative things but I'm trying okay so I'm trying third do not share your plans or your dreams with your friends don't tell them prove them do not let someone judge you before it's completed we do like to share our plans and our dreams with our friends because we like to hear some advice and feedback from them but according to my experience it can do more harm than good some people can get on your way and make your plans miserable some people can mess it up than supporting you so I think it's better to keep your secrets with yourself so what's your opinion on this? Fourth, do not change yourself for others. Do not change yourself and less for yourself. Other people's opinions on you don't matter because they don't live our life. We live our life, so we don't need to waste our energy to convince people to understand us. Because if you're trying to live for other people's opinions, you will eventually lose yourself. Because when I was a teenager, I tried so hard to change for a group of friends that I hang out with. I was an introvert and I still am. I'm an introvert and my parents are not rich and I was okay with that until I went to a college. Then there was a group of friends that I hang out with so I changed myself to be like them so that I, I could feel like I belong to them. Then eventually 
I lost myself and I was like very stressful because I was pretending to be someone else that I was not. So my teenage years were very stressful. I was not happy with myself and my parents. I was not content with what I had. So if I had a chance to go back to my teenage years and give an advice to myself, I would say just be who you are. One day you will realize those people don't matter in your life anymore. So just live a little and enjoy the moment, enjoy your teenage years. Last but not the least, do not look for a relationship. Instead, work on your self-love. You only find love when you stop looking for it. And it's very important to learn how to love yourself and how to treat you right. Have self-esteem and prove yourself every day. If you're confident in yourself, love will find you. If you're looking for a relationship because you're feeling lonely or needing someone in your life, um, you will look for happiness in them. You are more likely to be obsessive, jealous, and toxic. And if you lose then, you feel hopeless. So I think it's important to love yourself first and share your love with others. So that's it for part one and part two video will be out very soon. So make sure you subscribe my channel and turn on the notification. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, stay healthy, stay safe and stay healthy. And don't forget to stay awesome too.